Hi mums and dads, Matess from Forward Adventures here. Uh, so last night we had a bedwetting accident which prompted me to do this short piece on how we do or cope with bedwetting. Um, now we're traveling with a two and a five year old so nappies and bedwetting is just something that we have to deal with and luckily it's not something where accidents happen a lot but when they do they're annoying as any parent in the world would know so we obviously have to take extra precautions to try to ease the amount of washing that we need to do and um, smells or whatever else comes with um, wetting um, accidents so this is what we do um, some of it works some of it doesn't work everyone obviously has their own ways of doing things but here are a few tips um, to cope with all of that yes so this is the bedding arrangement for our two little boys um, they're in little bunk beds that Paul has built custom built for our trip um, and we will probably take them out as they grow bigger because they're already extending their length to the end of the beds but what I wanted to show you here and here's a real live example are these bed wetting pads they're by Alvia um, they're very dirty because we've been living them in them for a year and stains don't exactly come out in the laundry unless you're going to soak them uh, they do pill a little bit um, I did have one item replaced but it could have been because I put it in a tumble dryer on a too hot setting but these are amazing I actually had them from home and I just worked out how to get them onto the beds these bunk beds because they're smaller than a normal cot size or a single bed these are the bed pads with wings so that you can tuck them in underneath the mattress um, on a normal single bed we um, we actually made these mattresses by cutting down a the foam from a Clark rubber um, single bed uh, so that they would custom fit the um, these bunk beds that Paul has built um, so instead of wrapping the sheet around uh, width ways in a normal single bed um, to get full coverage um, I've just put them around the other way on the mattress and what I do is I safety pin them over so that the wings if you like uh, just wrapping them around and holding them on because the little kids roll around so much everything gets untucked so every time I need to do the washing I have to undo all of these safety pins which is a small bother but it's so much better than a completely soaked mattress now why these are great is because they absorb can absorb up to two liters um, our little ones are in nighttime nappies um, really good ones but if a spill does happen a lot of the time it's just a small drip and if you didn't have these and you just had um, the regular bed sheets um, you'd have to rip that all off every time there was an accident um, and probably the under sheet waterproof um, mattress protector would also be wet if you had that sort of setup um, so in this case I just have a regular sheet which is still perfectly clean here nothing gets through this guy it is amazing so if there was just a tiny little drip I would let that pass it dries out it doesn't smell too badly um, and on we go I don't even worry about it in this case it was a pretty big accident um, so the whole lot's got to come off and I, I really just need to wash the top sheet um, the mattress protector itself everything else is fine but like I said um, if it was just a small accident we'll just move on it soaks it up it dries out you wouldn't even know it had happened so that is the top tip for bed wetting in this situation I've got two of them um, one for each bed and a spare um, I don't generally use the spare because it's all the way in storage underneath the um, our big bed and um, we only wash these guys once um, uh, once we're in a big town with a big enough washing machine um, but they have been an absolute lifesaver and they've also 
saved the um, stains from dirty feet and dirty saying um, dirty everything mud <laughs> pilbara red sand um, on all of our regular bed sheets so double win there i'll show you what we do in our car seats next We've uh, made it to a major city uh, this week. So it's time for another car service. And since the bedwetting accident this morning and the car service is also happening, that seemed to be a really good opportunity to pull the car seats out and wash all of those as well, because as you can see, they're quite disgusting. Um, I haven't vacuum these out yet since pulling them out you've got sand as every parent would know there's always sultanas in there um, pen mark stain food galore these guys are in the seats for hours a day so they're pretty gungy I actually washed these car seats um, which were secondhand when we got them um, every other month or so um, and usually Hi. oh hello <laughs> I'm doing a filming here. Is there anything you'd like to say about your car seats? No. No? Talk about my Lego. Oh, you want to talk about Lego? Okay, well, maybe we'll do a video on all your toys. Yeah, after you've done this. Okay, alright, cool. But I need to wash these first. Um, anyway, so, bed wet or sleep wetting, wetting, just in general, and car seats. Um, I've got these guys, which are Broly sheep car seat protectors. Got to admit, not the best um, because they're not fitted. Um, so we have, the kids actually worked out how to do this. Tie the seat belt, is this the fifth point of the harness? Around the loop there to secure them a lot better. The only good thing that these are majorly, the other good thing that these are useful for is capturing all the crumbs that fall down and make it easier to sh shake out. Um, so these absorb accidents that happen while the kids uh, have fallen asleep whilst um, in the car. And um, the main problem is because they're not fitted properly, they just get pushed back to the back there while the kids are sitting. So you've still got everything wet here. The seat belt, well, the seat belt gets wet there. Um, and often it leaks through to the back there as well. So as far as wetting is concerned, um, it takes some of the brunt, but then, um, yeah, the seat itself often also needs a clean. Uh, for small accidents, it's pretty good. Um, I can just pull it out quickly, give it a hand wash, it dries pretty quickly as well. And by the next morning, I can just pop it back on and um, on we go. Um, sometimes if there's a small accident, good for um, drinks and other sort of food spills as well, but I can just whip it out or sometimes just dry it out and put it back on until we get to another big town. Um, so I would love to hear if anyone's got better solutions to this because um, that will look, work a lot better to us. Um, I did a fair amount of research on the market and I haven't actually seen, or at least a year ago when I bought these, um, any other solutions that any other brands have come up with to, to fix this problem. Because living on the road, the kids are always asleep in the car and these accidents do happen, they live in them. There's so much gunge on their seats, it's disgusting. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear if anybody else has any good tips for car seats. Hit me up below.